Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome aboard. This is the Tier 1 Soviet cruiser Orlin. Historically the Orlin is based on the Soviet Project 37 destroyer. Four designs were created in 1941. All of them were rejected including a redesign in 1943. The designs all included torpedoes but Wargaming likely removed them and relabeled it as a cruiser for game balance purposes. In World of Warships, you'll find this boat in the Soviet section of the tech tree. No research or silver is needed to get this ship. Let's go take a look at the armor. Maximum armor rating for this ship is about 13 millimeters. The front, bottom, and back of the hull all have 6 millimeters of armor, as does the superstructure. The top decks and torpedo belt appear to have slightly more armor at 10 millimeters, with the most armor being around the artillery and conning tower. Let's go ahead and take a little closer look at the ship's equipment. The Orlin has a max speed of 25 knots with a rudder shift time of 2.4 seconds and a short turning radius of 310 meters. The hull has a total of 4550 hit points with a maximum armor thickness of 13 millimeters which we just previously discussed. The ship's concealment range is at 7.9 kilometers but at tier 1 it doesn't really matter much. The ship has two main turrets consisting of a total of four 130 millimeter guns with a maximum range of 9.7 kilometers and a reload time of 4.3 seconds. These guns fire high explosive rounds for a maximum damage of 800 points each and have a turn rate of 18.6 seconds to rotate 180 degrees. For defenses, it has seven anti-aircraft guns of variable sizes that cover a range of about 2.5 kilometers off from the ship. Player opinions on this ship kind of vary, but it is the fastest tier 1 ship in the lineups and Wargaming recommends the Magazine Modification 1 for the one ship upgrade slot. Overall, it looks like a speedy little boat that can get out of a fight pretty fast when it needs to, and with its low damage shells, I would consider the ship more of a spotter or a recon ship. So let's go see how she handles in a match. Actually, let's give it a try. Kind of feels a little sluggish. Nice turn. All right, let's go blow some ships up.
that's it. Let's take a look at these scores. As you can see on the first ship, we did a good bit of damage on that one. 43 shots for 67 points. 43 rounds for 6,700 points. The Van Kinsberg, uh, 37 rounds for 63. 29 rounds for 2.6. Uh, 9 rounds for 2.3. And that last one, 24 rounds for 5k. Overall, I think this is a fun boat to play with. Would I take it into battle beyond this video? Probably not. I tried a couple other rounds, did okay, did pretty good, about the same average as what I was doing with this video here, this playthrough. Um, again, uh, I'm going to have to agree with the, a lot of the players out there. Um, nice, fast, really fast boat, but just a little too low on damage for my opinion. But again, still did pretty well. Uh, great starter ship along the German line. Have, uh, have fun with it. So this has been my short little review of the Tier 1 Orlin. I hope you guys enjoy it. hope you guys enjoy the boat. hope you enjoy the rest of the Soviet line. And this is the bosun going ashore.